Hi, good afternoon. Hi, hi, hi. Good afternoon. Yep. Um, I'm now getting into uh, we are now getting into our live. Uh, okay, sorry, just to get ready with my slide. Okay. We are here. We are here. Okay. Good afternoon. Okay. Um, I think I can do something. Yeah. So you can see me. Hi. Good afternoon. My name is Alison Lee. Uh, I'm the sales director for My Horizon Media. Hope everybody is keeping well. Um, this is a uh, uh, a period of a uh, different time, different, different, uh, uh, after COVID-19, our, our life is changing and we all trying to adapt to this uh, new norm. Um, one of the things that we started doing is uh, sharing some of our knowledge of uh, managing social media accounts for clients and uh, sharing some information and uh, because we find out that there are still a lot of people don't understand how China social media work and the advantage of us being on social media and how it can uh, bring a lot of benefits to our brand and it's a good way for us to reach out to this uh, uh, to, to the market especially for China market yeah for China market it has a different sets of um, social media uh, that um, it's good that we find out more before we look uh, before we decide whether uh, is your product or your brands your property is suitable for this uh, uh, platform yeah for this uh, social media okay so uh, I'm trying to do uh, so now I'm back to my slide okay so um, 
these are the pretty standard thing for us. We we've been doing a lot of uh, a lot of Malaysian brands are very active on social media. Basically, we know this is a good place uh, to extend our brand, reach out to customer. So these are the benefits that we all know to be on social media. But somehow we are still going to the media that we are familiar with, uh, which is uh, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, YouTube. Uh, um, however. In China, you can't really reach to Chinese uh, through our conventional social media platforms that we know. So it's uh, important that um, we we look into uh, how China social media can help. Okay, so um, sorry, I just quickly get myself uh, online. Okay, first of all, the statistic that I like to share is uh, more than. Uh, there are about sixty percent of the population of China are using internet. Yeah, uh, these are the last year's statistic. We are talking about eight hundred million Chinese are using social uh internet. So there are around um, this make China the world largest social media market with people increasingly depending on such platform to look for a place to share their opinion ask for product recommendation and connect with other. So all this uh, interaction is even more relevant in the China market because of the uh, their higher percentage of people are on social media. Yeah. So for that, this is a, a social media landscape is very unique and constantly evolve with the emergence of new players every year to keep up with the high demand. That's why um, that's what happened also during the MCO period. We spent a lot of time uh, to look into all these social media platforms to to review, to try, and uh, because there are so many of them. Okay, so we 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 also establish uh, new contacts and uh, a new working partner in China just to uh, expand. To share with a uh, Malaysian uh, brand, there are so many others uh, social media platform that we can uh, reach out to. But depends on your product and depends on what you want to do. Okay, so global brands looking to build their presence in the Chinese market need to keep a close eyes on what is happening on this uh, with this platform. So, these are the top ten social media platform for uh, marketing. That are available for China market. Some of them we are familiar with. We are familiar with uh, WeChat. Uh, to some extent, we we will use it there because there are, it has uh, so many other function. We have Weibo, QQ, YouHu, Baidu, Zhihu, Douyin, Douyin, Meituan, Dianping, Mo Mo. These are just some of the social media uh, platforms that is uh, available and is more relevant to what we do. Uh, for um, it's I would say not relevant. It's they have a huge followers uh, on this social media platform. Okay, so for property, uh, for property, uh, in Malaysia, which of the platform that actually you should be using? Okay, so for us, we will recommend these three platforms. Uh, basic. These are the basic things that you need to establish. When if you want to go into China social media market for properties uh, product, conventionally, these are the two. Yeah, WeChat and Weibo. Um, WeChat is a hybrid of Facebook and WhatsApp. You have to be on WeChat. Basically, it has the largest monthly active user in China on their social media platform. If this is an super apps, you call it uh whatever apps is really powerful. 1.1 billion monthly active user daily time spent 66 minutes 66 minutes if you go down and look through the some of the statistic that we find out and the user is actually uh, across the age yeah it's it's basically is everyday unlike some of the platform they might skew to uh, younger or different different segment of the market when you have 1.1 billion you actually have the user across the board yeah so it's a better platform for customer relationship management offer smaller reach due to the private nature so some of us uh, some of you maybe know that uh, WeChat protect your privacy to some extent yeah so the first thing that you know uh, you don't need to give uh, your phone number 
in order to to be connected on WeChat. So that that one is also some privacy, uh, protection. Yeah, longer process. However, due to this uh, privacy private nature, it take longer process to acquire follower but quality of connections tends to be better okay so we have uh, a lot of uh, quite a fair bit of uh, malaysia property having a wechat account uh, they use wechat account for what they use wechat to do their official information yeah so this is uh, wechat later i will go into the content side sorry i mean a bit uh, i still a bit uh, <laughs> not sure um let's look at Weibo. Weibo is a hybrid of Twitter and Facebook, strong, uh, strong base, yeah, quite strong. Five hundred million monthly active user. Um, out of that eight hundred million, we are talking about almost sixty percent of uh, this uh, internet user are on a uh, Weibo. Daily time span is eight minutes because it's for quick, uh, quick and fast news, uh, gossip, uh, all these uh, celebrities, uh, divorce. <laughs> everything all the news are here offer attractive opportunity for branding better platform for branding all this we uh it's okay for me what i like about uh Weibo is easier to connect with other users and become to more visible to a larger audience through active participation in discussion that means you can tag you can do hashtag uh it can go viral uh still one of the most uh a, a platform that more likely to go viral yeah just because of the nature of this uh, platform is uh, open and what i like again i have to stress is their pm uh, system so private message is very easy yeah everybody can pm you uh you uh be it be your fans or not friends or what i mean you can pm anybody as long as uh, they have an account and you can click inside their account and see uh, who are they? What have been, then? Uh, what have they been sharing? Yeah, there's no like privacy setting. Yeah, everything is open under the sun. Okay, so then we look at Toutiao. This is another platform that uh, which I think property, uh, product property uh, accounts should look into Toutiao. Yeah, there are others. There are some reason that we like about this. It's a hybrid of uh, Google News, uh, Reddit, Facebook, um. 200 million monthly active user daily time spent 76 minutes so it's offer attractive opportunity for brand awareness i call it brand awareness basically it's uh, something uh it's uh mainly for brand awareness yeah so um uh it's a uh, user can share information in short article so as a property account you can share your information in a few few forms which is short article long article video content and um, okay how it works yeah i like it because it somehow can grow your account organically yeah so it serves article to the user based on their interest your article will almost exclusively reach a respective audience on the platform so which means the view and reach on this platform are highly targeted okay so what i do what we recommend you uh for property account is that you need to be seen on this account or on this platform yeah Weibo, wechat and totiao basically it will help to establish your brand you do a formal introduction about your uh your property if you are a developer you know talk about your history talk about your uh, achievement what have you done um, you know uh, to, to to give credential yeah basically uh, for Chinese people they don't know about you so uh, and then there are limited information that they can find from your website so they can't see what other people talk about you or or, or even your regular posting yeah so these three platform will help you to reach out and establish your your brand uh, towards this uh, to to China market yeah so th that's why I put these three platform together so next we look into it the other one that for property accounts that you need to have is Xiaohongsu okay Xiaohongsu what is Xiaohongsu Xiaohongsu is a hybrid of Instagram actually it's more pinster than Instagram and an e-commerce platform 85 million monthly active user 
daily time spent uh, about 20 minutes offer attractive opportunity for marketing okay so it's like a tips uh not pet yeah so user can share useful tips and interesting content about beauty and lifestyle and increase brand awareness user engagement and followers okay so when you have all this formal information on wechat Weibo, and totiao then in Xiaohongsu, you do more lifestyle. You go easy, you go uh, talking like a real person, sharing information, giving notes, uh, sharing real life information. So so you have to give uh, fresh, uh, uh, you have to give life to your account. Yeah, so most of the time, you know, we browse through the official account. You know, we won't, we won't look at uh, uh, too much into it because it's all about official information okay so i understand there are needs that you maintain your corporate image and then so we use different platform to showcasing your product so uh, on xiaohongsu you go on lifestyle something more uh, interactions yeah more storytelling on xiaohongsu uh, it's very important you know because when we talk about selling property, it's not selling, uh, I'm not selling a per square feet. You know, I'm not selling a, 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 a bricks and how big is the space. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm selling a dream. Yeah, we are selling a dream that you can have a second home in uh, Malaysia, in KL or other places. Um, and enjoy this lifestyle with a fraction of your the money that you need to achieve similar lifestyle in other country so this is a uh, so it's very important so when we talk about social media it's a uh, it's not just another form of uh, uh, press release place you know so so especially for china market it doesn't work it doesn't work i mean uh, whatever things that we uh, you want to put up promotion and uh, uh saying that we're giving out offers and things like that is hardly work yeah it's about how you engage them and how you capture their heart okay so talk about real story another uh, another set of social media that you we 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 recommend for property um accounts is uh, to venture into Douyin and also Kwai so. Okay, what is Douyin? Okay, let's quickly go into what is Douyin. Douyin, uh, so a lot of questions would be like, oh, is, uh, is Douyin TikTok? Or TikTok, is that Douyin? Okay, so this is, uh, they're actually owned by this company called ByteDance, which also own uh, Tou Tiao. Okay, so uh, same parents company. TikTok, is where we are more familiar with short video active in Southeast Asia, East Asia, West Asia, 800 million monthly active user and about, I think, I don't know, maybe uh, a, a Malaysian market is also quite big, Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, Vietnam. Okay, of course, uh, as far as I know, half of them, about 400 million monthly active users are from India. So, so indians likes uh, tiktok daily time spent 52 minutes yeah offer attractive opportunity for branding okay branding in what sense later i will share my 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 uh, my thinking or my um opinion about how to use uh, video based short video based apps uh, social media apps to reach out to these people because you cannot ignore them huge uh, numbers of people on this uh, and they spend 52 minutes you know 52 minutes on 15 second video how many videos that these people watch a day hundreds yeah uh, so um so uh tiktok is for the market outside china it's just a simple division and then Douyin is uh, the market uh, for china market 400 million monthly active user daily time spent 52 minutes side by side competitors with uh, Kwaiso. Kwaiso is in the market longer uh, uh, longer than Douyin. Short videos and live stream but this one is really uh, when you have 52 minutes compared to 60 minutes uh, this is very very stiff com competition. So this bike dance uh, on Douyin 
uh, they are competing with uh, giving uh, they they are uh, they are uh, this is one of the platform you should look at lah. So um, quite so apparently, um, WeChat have some investment inside. So it's always WeChat and ByteDance are the two main competitors in the China social media scene now. Same thing in the this category, yeah, WeChat and uh, ByteDance. Okay, who who is this ByteDance? Yeah? you know. Then I I uh I I went Google and find out that they are like one of the most valuable tech tech company in the world. Okay, so supposed to go IPO this year, and I hope they still go. Uh, in Hong Kong, um, very very powerful. Okay, so Douyin, uh, okay, what do we do for with uh, on a short video? Same thing, uh. I will use it to actually do um, share video about your 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 property. It's not those video that is done by production house. Just a uh, a short and amateur amateur video, you know, to show this is real. Okay, this is the the on social media. There's one thing we always want to put uh, our best photo, Photoshop photos. You know, for a lot of corporate, you know, it's like we struggle always. You know, and when we go for approval, I say, listen, this one, is, uh, it's not, not, not up to our standard, or it's not our uh, corporate uh, approved photo. Um, you see, that's why, uh, that's the reason that when people, um, uh, uh, when on social media, you cannot, you have to be careful of what you put because when you put up a, a too nice photo. To Photoshop, it's not nice. To Photoshop, they will tell you this is not real. I I, I want to see something real because that is uh that is the expectation and the real thing. So I would rather look at uh others people sharing some some people who not even uh, some some average people to share a photo about your product. Then I know this is real. Yeah. So this Douyin Douyin. Can give these sort of elements. You can do uh, short videos in your property and showcasing some of the function or some of the uh, views from the how great is the view from this specific uh, this unique. Because normally when we sell property, you know we will list down what is your location. You don't withdraw a map, and then we put down what are the uh, international schools surrounding. Where do you go shopping? But I I, I cannot imagine. I'm a Chinese. Uh, a a Chinese thing in uh, Shanghai. I not been to here, so um, this real life and uh, 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 video will help them to see the real thing. Yeah. So this is how I see. How do you uh break into this market by using different social media platform to deliver different type of content. For your potential buyers, yeah. So that um, there, there, the, you need to have some touch point. You know to capture the sales. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's what I think. Uh, these are some of the social media platforms that we would um. We would be um recommended. Uh, for property accounts. Yeah. Okay, so I also find out uh some statistic from others uh, um, uh, website which is also uh talking about why Malaysia is the ideal place to invest, why Chinese like to invest. But for 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 some of you, maybe you already know. Yeah, I'm I'm just sharing some of the statistic and to re uh re. Uh, we reassure you this is the market that you should be looking at yeah so locations uh, top 10 asia locations viewed by chinese buyer um first half of the 2019 um somehow they like uh, bangkok pattaya chiang mai phuket but our uh, uh so after thailand is kl 
Yeah, so we move up, move up one notch from uh, second half to zero one eight. KL Dubai Tokyo Manila Singapore uh, Johor. So KL KL is really in the top ten. So uh, so this is how how uh, this is just a matter of how you um, using social media to uh, to bring up your brand. This is this is what social media can help you. You know we are uh, to sell, compare because you to just to sell you as a as a product as a as a house as an apartment. You then you are comparing uh, per square feet. You are comparing per uh, uh, per location and uh, uh, so. Uh, that's no real story, yeah. So. Um, this is what they want to do with uh, motivation for Chinese global property investment. Own use 43%, migration. This is uh, probably MN to H. People can look at this 55%. Uh, and then investment 60 and education. Education and education is very, very important. So um, a lot of property company, we blend them together with uh, education. If they have their own in-house uh, property um, education product, that's great. So it's an integration, maybe even selling uh, education uh, as a frontier because those are the things that um, capture their attention. Yeah. So some of the some of the buyer was telling us it's like um, in order to get a, a position in a school in um, in Shanghai is so so difficult on top of they have to pay a lot of money for the uh, you want to buy a property nearby the school and then that's already costing a lot of money and then it doesn't guarantee a place in the school also so um, these are some of the uh, statistic and facts that we should be looking at uh, I guess you all know how big how big is this China market and how big is their potential. Come, we look at what, what is Weibo and how Weibo look like. This is a Weibo account for a property company, and uh, it's always with a nine photo the content. And uh, you will find uh, on social media there's more 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 information can be delivered. Uh, to to these people so that they can find out more about us. Of official way for WeChat as I mentioned earlier is for official information. Yeah. So uh, this is another property company, HCK. But HCK the way that we look at it is education. Uh, capture the eyeball using education and uh to push, uh their property sales. This is uh, how uh, Weibo look like, some of the content. Um, okay, this is uh, how uh, WeChat look like. WeChat is a uh, longer articles, so it's great for engagement. Yeah, so you you, this is where you do conversion. Yeah, you have to find out what are the main thing that they are looking for. You know how how do you capture their heart, on so that they see the value in your property. Yeah, so it's not just purely, uh, not just purely uh, uh comparing prices. Yeah, so we we have to give value and. To, to your um, to your property. So uh, Xiao Hongshu, Xiao Hongshu, as I said, is a good place. Uh. Uh, a lot of property agents are sharing their products uh, up here. Okay, on Toutiao. Okay, Toutiao. Uh, okay. Um, Eighty percent of the uh, the 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 readership is quite young. So that's why it's it's more uh, the the readership is uh, upper middle and upper class and uh, they are mostly from first tier and second tier city. So it's more educated and a lot of them, eighty percent of them, are either freelancer or own boss. Yeah. So and it's male dominated. Uh, 
uh, apps. So that's why they are targeting the the all these social media apps will have different group of followers on uh, on on their platform. Yeah. Um, we those are I I just do some brief introduction of uh, how you can use China social media platform to sell your property and um, if you have uh, any questions or you want to find out more as I said if you like our post we will help you to uh, set up a Xiaohongsu account and also we will uh, prepare help you to prepare a post for your Xiaohongsu okay who are we we, we my Horizon Media is a unique marketing service provider offering customized social media accounts and KOL management service services for China market. So with high quality content creation and clear positioning for brands, we help brands and company, including this company, uh, to, uh, to reach out to more uh, uh, potential clients on the social media. Okay, so um, these are some of our portfolios, some of our clients, including tourism, hotel, resort, education, attractions, F&B, shopping malls and properties, and others. Um, yeah. So um, some of the KOL, we also manage KOL for, for depends on the product. Property sector is also good to engage with KOL. Okay, the KOL marketing is like this, yeah. A lot of people ask me, what is KOL? Listen, okay, key opinion leaders, um, we use them because no matter how great we say uh, is our, our product is how, how great and uh, our property is the best, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes it's uh, the KOL, when they say such similar thing, it's very different because they see it, they experience it. Yeah, so uh, it's true. Others people, word of mouth, that we bring more values to our property yeah we use uh, celebrity uh, producer and singer anu to promote slang -o. so it's also give some uh, credential to uh, the brands that we want to promote um, so okay these are some of it okay let me just quickly go live um to to the handphone and And uh, share with you. Um, okay, so hang on, uh, let me just. Yeah, the, I was trying to find out ways to link to um, Zoom. Uh, seems to be. Uh, to, to link to my handphone to to laptop it seems to be the only way to share it uh, one of the way that I find to um, is to use um, is to use uh, zoom to link to um, to my handphone Okay, so we are connected. Uh, okay, so um I'm going into um, okay. So we are now connecting to my handphone. Okay, so uh, I need to share my screen. So there are a lot of steps. And uh, uh, this uh, sharing my screen is uh, is uh, quite yeah I 
uh, I always want to find out how to do it. Okay, this is WeChat. Um, okay, let's look at one of the accounts. Uh, so, um, this is an official account. When you click inside, this is a long article. Uh, so, that's, this is how we say this uh, engagement uh, post because you will tell more stories and uh, share more onto um onto this uh, so um we look at one of the property company it's a uh, you know talk about lifestyle talk about education um because information is very important for them to make decision yeah so to to acquire a property outside china for um, what we want to do, we want to well, we want them to have a better understanding of our product, so that they this can help your agent to sell, and this one help them to make decision. I mean, a lot of uh, um, I I I use social media for the we call it the last mile. You know, because there are, it's a longer process. To, uh, when you look at property, you know, you need to know so many things um, so that in our posting, we will target different segments of the uh, buyer and uh, come up with uh, uh, the age and the advantage of uh, acquiring, acquiring our properties. This is where you can do this, this style of work. Uh, this would help your agent to close deal. Okay, so... Um, uh, to talk about educations, uh, why the which the syllabus, and uh, yeah, this is um, and uh, this post targeting uh, investment uh, buyer, okay, or yeah. So what is your invest now? Then you retire, you can come here. Um, This is uh, the, what I'm trying to say is social media allow you to uh, target and positioning yourself. So it's, it's very important when you have a clear positioning, um, it's easier you will find uh, the potential buyer and uh, you can, it's easier to match with these uh, potential buyers. Uh, so that's what we do. Um, Okay, this is a uh, WeChat, and let's look at hotel. So this is your um, this is the timeline. It's uh, it will be recommended by hotel, so I can look at uh, the people that I I follow, and uh, this is our company account. Okay, so um, we will share the property information. We can share the property information here. So um, to reach out to more people, uh, so you can do posting on articles, long articles. Uh, this one is a write up about Sunway. Oh, sorry, not Sunway. One you. Okay, so and then um, video. So, Xiao uh, Hongshu. Okay, some of um, some some of my uh, client ask me how to download all this app. Okay, most of them are available on on uh, Google Play. If you have Google Play, if not, it's a uh, uh, iPhone store. Uh, most of them are available. If you can't find, uh, can't seem to download this app, you can also PM us. We can share you the link. Some of the app, um, you might need uh, China or just a URL to download. Okay, so um. 
this is uh, this is how the landing page for Xiao Hong Su. So you can play music. Uh, flipping. The flipping experience is quite nice. Just flip right, left, right. Then uh, write up is here. Hashtag is here. Uh, these are the... This is a property description. Uh, photos. And, uh, okay. And then a uh, web walk. If you, if you notice just now, I use um, Weibo to log into uh, Xiaohongshu. They are actually inter, uh, you're able to inter um, use, like us, we can use Facebook to log into other social media account. So, um, this is how Weibo look like. Short posting, either video or Either video or uh, wording. Okay, um, I share until here. If you have uh, any questions, uh, do um, drop us and PM us. And uh, we will share more information and see how we can work together to help you to capture into China market. Thank you. Thank you for your time.